if your PC says hard drive not installed. The first thing to do is turn on or restart your computer. At the Dell logo screen, tap the F2 key repeatedly to enter BIOS. First, we'll check the date and time to ensure they're correct. The date and time being incorrect can cause a hard drive failure. To check the date and time, click date slash time in the general section and ensure the date and time are correct. If the date or time is incorrect, click in the field and enter the accurate date and time. Next, we'll change the boot sequence from UEFI to Legacy. Click Boot Sequence in the General section of the menu. If UEFI is selected, select the Legacy option instead. If the Legacy option is gray and cannot be selected, click Secure Boot Enable in the Secure Boot section of the menu, and then select the Disabled option and click Yes. Next, click Advanced Boot Options and click the checkbox next to Enable Legacy Option ROMs. Click Boot Sequence, and you should now be able to select the Legacy option. Next, click SATA Operation in the System Configuration section of the menu, and select AHCI. Click Apply, and then click Exit. Your computer will restart automatically. If you still see the hard drive not installed error message, you will need to run an EPSA diagnostic. To run the diagnostic, restart your computer, and when you see the Dell logo, Repeatedly tap F12 to enter the one-time boot menu. Next, navigate to Diagnostics and press Enter. The diagnostic test will begin. If there are any issues, error codes will appear. If you get any error codes, make a note of them along with the service tag. You can use Dell Support Assist Preboot System Performance Check website to look up the error code. A link to the website is in the description section.